come back. So now I'm, I'm, I'm ready to begin installing this React OS. So what is React OS? React OS is supposed to, the aim, the goal of React OS is to be a clone of Windows. And uh, they haven't got that far. I mean, the, the driver support, the number of drivers that React OS supports is, is not a lot. Um, now, they do work with the Wine project. And so anything that would run in Wine would be able to run in React OS. You say, well, that, that's great. The problem you have here is, is that if you just go out and buy a computer like this one, I, I know React OS will install on my computer without the help of Box. And so it's got a very, it's, it's got a small set of hardware that it could actually install to. If it had a larger set of hardware it could install to, it might be a viable alternative to Linux. Now, why? is it that it's in a situation right now that it doesn't have all the capabilities of Linux and the drivers say well Linux you know the common convention is that Linux is open source so why why isn't React OS have all these capabilities folded into it and I'm gonna look it up uh, <laughs> at Wikipedia and my first thing I'm gonna do is I suspect very highly and I'll probably be right that um, has to do with its license. And I bet you that the license is less restrictive than the GNU GPL. Now, I, got, I really want to know what this is I don't know what the license is it's not telling me here okay react OS license I'm just gonna look it up I'm not gonna there's a react OS license let's see what this is no it's it's okay so it is licensed under the GNU GPL so I am shocked in one in one sense, the React OS wouldn't have more driver support because you know you'd think that you know if it were a free BSD license, it wouldn't want to have the restriction of, the restriction of the GPL of you can't commercialize it. You can't commercialize uh, GPL software or make it so the source code is with the GPL. You I shouldn't say commercialize. You can't take GPL software source code and then modify it for your own purposes and sell it or distribute it to anybody else without giving them the source code. FreeBSD, you can take their source code, do what you want with it, and redistribute it and not give them the source code. But um, React OS is the same deal. So if, as long as React OS is the GPL, you would think that it could take the source code from Linux for these drivers and fold it into React OS. But it doesn't. <laughs> and the reason is probably, and this is probably a very good argument as to why uh, the SCO people were, were full of crap, and I, I, I think I picked this up on what Greg Leahy was saying on his webpage when he was responding. Uh, Greg, Le Greg Leahy was one of the people that, was, that had a webpage that discuss what was happening with SCO, and I don't want to get into this too much, but he mentioned that it was just almost literally impossible or nonsense that you know, the code base of one, um, I, I don't want to, you know, leave it to Greg Lady to, to say what he says, because he's going to say it more technically correctly than I, than I ever will, but I got the idea or the impression that you couldn't just take source code from one operating system just plonk it in the other one <laughs> you know it has to be so significantly modified anyway that you know to me this is evidence that the react os doesn't have the same driver support that linux does at least i perceive that on the attempt to the install and on some of the facts it says you have to have certain pieces of hardware and it discusses heavily about using it in in boxes i'm doing I uh, got the impression that it doesn't have the same driver support as Linux. And so that tells me you can't just take a Linux driver and let it work in React OS. Uh, 
and also uh, the fact that uh, Windows uh, doesn't have the same amount of driver support as say you know people aren't going out and compiling these Linux drivers for free download for use in Windows independently of Microsoft is also evidence that you can't just plonk source code from one thing to the other and have it work so uh, that whole SCO thing yeah it was predictable it was just going to blow up blow up in their face as far as, as far as I could see it seemed they, I think I got it right from from him but he, you know again I don't I, I, I don't think <laughs> what I'm saying here is going to cause any you know don't go beating the guy's door down be nice he's a very nice guy as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, if there's any misattribution, just just throw it my way, okay? Okay, let's get back to this. Um, here, okay, so the React, yeah, there it is. Uh, new general public license. Okay, I got a real down, two real tail spin there, but I am ready to begin the simulation. I got the CD in there. I have it, as far as I know, I'm gonna boot from the CD first, and then it's gonna boot to the disk second if the CD wasn't present, so let's go. And what do I got? IRQ's conflict at 9. Why are we... I don't understand. Okay, so I had to press the key to boot from the CD, and if the IPs are too high, then it's... I won't have the time to do that, so they're... Whoa, my God. <laughs> That was quick. It didn't go as far as it did before, so I know I've got a problem with my IRQ. Last time I changed my IRQ, and I did this off screen, but let's see if I could um, just go into the boxrc file, and I guess it would be a good time. The, what's happening is, is that the file that controls the behavior box is this file right here called boxrc. There's a lot of content on it, and I think the network card that I have down here that's enabled RQ9. Last time I just gave it RQ10. Everything was sweet. You can change it that way too. Um, also, I should show you quickly that uh, there is a there is a file called d.image. It's right there. That's the one I'm working with. It's 500 megabytes big. That's the one I just created in uh, BX image. Okay, so now I'm going to try box again, and I don't really have to use the command line anymore because I got it to the point where it's going to boot my CD and then attempt to do the hard drive. So now I just have to be sure that I press the some key quickly enough when it says click press any key for boot menu. I pressed it, and boy was that quick. My God. I got a this thing, <laughs> it, it, and it just it aired out. Okay, let's go over here. Where are my ips? I I got to bring it down to twenty, and you'll see that the speed changes. And maybe I have to bring it down to ten. Let's see what happens. So save this. Okay, box. It's gonna be a little slower. A little more time to press some key to get the CD to to work, and you'll be able to tell if the CD is being read. My God, I think that no, there it is. Okay, so why did it do that? It just went straight to black. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop here and try to figure out what is why that happened. 